It's a dark day in Night City without the light that is Jackie Wells. Time to send him off properly at his offerenda before getting back to addressing our latest intrusive thoughts, aka Johnny Silverhand. Maybe Takamura can help us out. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Cyberpunk. Great to have you back. Ziggy agrees. <laughs> Where we left off, um, we were about to meet Takamura. And our opinion is don't trust that Takamura. Meet with him. Sure, check him out, but keep your eyes open. He's a corpo rat, meaning he's looking to use you. One can only assume. I don't really know what he would have to gain by... Well, I guess he could want to continue the ruse that we're the perpetrators of the attack at Asaka. But it seems like that's not what he wanted, just based on our very brief interaction with him. So our mission is to talk to Takamura. I think that he is in a diner somewhere, if I remember. Playing for time. Okay. So he's very close. And here is something also that I will say. Since we last met, I played a little bit on my own. Um, just because I wanted to get more acquainted with driving, <laughs> which didn't really work. And um, just going around the city, experimenting with controls, things like that. Just wanted to uh, get boots on the ground, get acquainted. I don't, I don't know what kind of euphemism I'm looking for here. That's not even the word I'm looking for. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I've just been running around like to a couple NCPD scanner points. Um, you can kind of see I like cleared out this general area. And I also got some new inventory. So I did make sure that we are dressed because we are probably going to attend Jackie's funeral today. I don't know if I should do that first or talk to Takamura. You guys are welcome to weigh in on that. I can go through some of our other missions. Well, that's our main mission. Oh, fetch your vehicle. I didn't actually look through any of these things. Read the message from Mama Wells optional and then call Mama Wells. Okay, we should do that actually. Let's call Mama Wells before we meet Takamura. Jackie Wells, Mama Wells, there we go. I'm trying to think, I think we just the only time that we've heard about Mama Wells is when Jackie was calling her. Um, we haven't interacted with her yet, so let's call her. B, good to hear you. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. Uh, I wanted to offer... Uh, let's ask how she's doing. How you doing? How you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Call in to offer my condolences. Mm. Offer your condolences. Ay, Jesucristo, V. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just Oh, met. okay. I thought I we said the wrong thing. You. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Hmm. The way she says friends makes me feel like most of his friends weren't, didn't have his best interest at heart or something. In her opinion, as his mother. Uh, I don't know if that's something for me. I'll do my best to make it. I'll be there. I think we'll be there. God, I, I would hate if we could miss it. That would suck. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Okay, good. Ahí te veo, Job updated. Heroes. So, um, does anyone know if this is something that we need to do right away or else we could miss it? I don't know if there are any timed events in this game yet. I don't usually give advice, but F it. Here it goes. Don't make... The same mistake I made. Say goodbye to the people you love. You know what I mean, right? Jackie Wells was your best tomb, and you don't find a lot of straight-up peeps like that in Night City. That's for sure. <laughs> that, say last game. Best thing you can do is remember them. Oh, and one more thing. If anyone asks, I didn't just say all that. Get it? 
Who is, who said it? Wait, I wish that it would say who wrote the entry because sometimes I, Jackie was writing a lot of our entries before and now I don't know. Uh, did anyone find the Batmobile type car yet? No. Wait, <laughs> maybe someone has here. I haven't. <laughs> okay, let's look at the map. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. It's really far away. Holy shit, you guys are gonna have to watch me drive all the way here. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go see Mama Wells. I'm definitely going to drive there. Uh, and I can't fast travel out there because I haven't been out there yet. Oh, here. Here's my vehicle. I figure I should probably save it for implants or something. Wow. Rude. Johnny, did you see what happened? What? Something feels off here. You don't say. I don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur up and drives away from the scene of an accident. So I almost forgot that Johnny <laughs> is still with us. Um, also, it's crazy that we're just talking with him. Delamain, please accept our sincerest apologies. So that was Delamain. Traffic incident number, whoa, that's a lot of incidences. The Delamain Corporation cordially invites you to its main headquarters in order to assess damages and arrange compensation. All right. I mean, I'm happy to do that some other time if we can. I hope that I can still drive my vehicle. Because <laughs> I, I still want to go to Jackie. And Obi, you say, suddenly all buddy buddy with Johnny. I know, he was, okay, this is crazy. The last time we saw Johnny, he threatened us and was insisting that we off ourselves. And now all of a sudden we're, I don't know, kind of just talking through things. Like he's someone I can rely on. I, I don't know about that. What? <sighs> okay. Do I have to go to the Delamain headquarters? Can I open? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I. This is off to a great start. Um, keep busy while you wait for the car to be repaired. <sighs> wow, I'm so mad. <laughs> this reminds me of in Red Dead Redemption when you go to do a mission. Like when you go walk up to Molly O'Shea or something, and then you end up having, and then Dutch end up ends up comes swooping in, and you have to play one of his missions instead. That's honestly what this reminds me of. I guess we can run to this. Uh, has anyone offered to sell you a car yet? Yes, they have. Um, purchasable vehicles. Holy shit! <laughs> For this piece of crap. V, my favorite Merc. I gotta. Galena I'm selling hasn't been driven very much. Guy who owned it the last 10 years was paranoid as shit of going outside because he was afraid they would zero him. Car sat unloved for all that time. But you can't escape fate, right? Oh, stray lead caught him through his window. <laughs> Moral of the story is that you gotta grab life by the frickin' balls. So don't be no Scrooge. Whip out your cred chip. Buy this, baby. <laughs> Mac, you say gotta start somewhere all right well i'm i think i have a heart to agree with you there so maybe it's in here buy a vehicle uh let's look at where this is oh okay it must be on the top of the parking garage it must be on the top of the parking garage mm. i would have to I mean, who, okay, beggars cannot be choosers, I guess. I'm literally running to all my missions on foot. <laughs> so, sure, I'd love to buy it. Uh, that hurts me, but it's okay. Let's see how fast this sucker can go. Oh God, I make, gotta make a sharp turn. Whee! <laughs> yeah, burn that. <laughs> New car smell. Mmm. 
black ice. Lovely. Oops, gotta take this exit here. Oh, snap. I'm going a little fast. Oh, snap. It's been a long time. Shit. Okako Okada, the lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. Okay. You did quite well. You and that friend of yours. Until then. Okay, that was nice of her to speak well of the dead. Okay, remember, V, it is unwise to... What? Drive with my eyes closed? You can't stop me. And Mac, you say... Nah, in Night City, red, <laughs> red light means go. I was noticing that. Every crosswalk is always don't walk. And I was kind of wondering if the devs made it that on purpose so that you always felt like... There's a new soul in Haywood. What? I'm Sebastian Ibarra. They call me Padre. V, nice to meet you. I like people who understand the value of respect. We'll be in touch, V. I was noticing that all of the sidewalks always are don't walk, and I was wondering if the devs made it that way so that you would feel extra badass when crossing the street always in Night City. Oops, oh crap, I missed my turn. Oh, <laughs> Oopsie daisies. But hey, that's like our first real crash. Otherwise, we're doing pretty good on straight roads. Uh, Mac, you say, I never thought of it like that. I like it. Put on your tinfoil hats, chat. And Blue, you say, Mezo driving like a Volvo driving soccer mom? Hell yeah. Uh, uh, okay, driving on the curb here. <laughs> I agree. Say, remember V. It's unwise to shit your pants. Remember V. It is unwise to go leave the house without your brown pants. Also, that black ice is covering up the scent of your dookie poop pants. <laughs> wow, very funny. Oh, oh my God! Why did I see that guy in speed up? Um. Wait, now where do I go? This isn't Mama Wells, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, meet Mama Wells at El Coyote Coho. Okay, well, time to get out. We're here. Without further ado, let's enter. This is quite, looks like quite the, the establishment. Table, we got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So? Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. V. Nice to ah. see you. Okay, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Do I want a beer? I'm gonna say yes. Wouldn't mind one. Salud. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to say to this. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Mm, been better or hanging in there? Hanging in there somehow? Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. Hmm. But okay. We put it behind us. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that? Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. Um, let's ask more about the ofrenda. An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Oh. Sure some beer would be at the top of Jackie's list. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and there will be beer. Want to take part in the ceremony, but... Want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm-hmm. But... Something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that'd do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. But your heart... 
He's in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Mm, his garage? Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Hmm. Mama Wells is, seems very smart. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. Two people have said that to us. Uh, the guy that called us on our way here. And, uh, okay, I'm not going to take anything from here because it's not my property. But I will take things from Jackie's garage, I guess. Hm. A little farther away. Right here. Ivy. Oh, it's Misty. Uh, you just sitting here all alone? Our last discussion that we had with her when she brought us the medicine um, to subdue Johnny. <sighs> that made me really like her. Okay, let's ask about her. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was going to happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. Hmm. That's an interesting perspective, but just just want you to be safe, Misty. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. I do too. Wanna sit? Catch up? Uh, sit? That's normal? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well, human. I guess. Mm. Did you guys know each other long? You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same oh. streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till you're back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Oh, no. I didn't realize that they had known each other for so long. It seems like we've only just met Missy, Misty, and I thought that we were the ones that knew Jackie for a long time. Jack talked about you a lot. Always oh, saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. I mean, he was like that too, but I want to ask her who he was to her. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me, in an instant, even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man, with dreams, ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Uh, why didn't you go in? Um, I would love for her to help us find something. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Oh. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Oh. Mind giving me a hand? Okay. I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. 
she wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. Dang. That's more important. Come on. Mama Wells seems tough, but I didn't realize that she would be... I don't know, so... Maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing a bigger picture. Um... Oh. I was going towards that box over there. Let's just open the garage first and then we can check out that little red dot thing over there. Well, let's take a look-see. Oh, poor Misty. The way she's walking around. Okay, I'll do the looking. Don't worry about it. Uh, he loved to pump iron. Okay, if I pick this up, is that what we're bringing? Because <laughs> I know that he was a big boy, but... I don't know, there could be something better. What? Oh, I'm opening this door. I don't know if I should open that door. Epic item components? Okay, that doesn't seem like that's part of it. The key to Jackie's room. Oh, okay. Maybe there'll be something in his room rather than the garage. I guess I'll just... Okay, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say the thing about the equipment. I really hope that this is not what we end up bringing to the offeranda. <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Can you hear his voice saying that? <laughs> I could. Uh, okay, let's take his junk. Oh, Jackie. Mandela? Oh. Mm -hmm. oh! It's a long story. I think it's... It looks like it's actually made out of sand. Holy shit, I'm not gonna step on it. Hey, you alright? I'm so much better than alright. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand, he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. Oh. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Okay, I, I think it looks good. I'm not sure what this section is. It kind of looks like a cat with a mustache. Like, do you see its eyebrows? Or it could be the monkey, Rafiki, or whatever his name is from The Lion King. I bet it's a cat. There's so many of those lucky cats around. Okay, I'm sure it's none of those things. Dang, I didn't, I didn't know she was gonna be. <laughs> I, I think it's really good. I mean, you don't expect something like that from, from Jackie, but he was many things. Uh, okay, and then we're discovering an aquarium. An aquarium? It used to be tacos. And taco was? As fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Oh. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. What the heck? I don't know anything about <laughs> oh, Jackie. I don't think he bought it. <sighs> okay. I still see a... A yellow marker here, but I don't know if that's anything. Okay, let's try and get to... Oh, Euro dollars. Okay. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. Oh, it's going to be it's the tequila. Lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him De Abajo had stolen her recipe. 
I'm really glad that Misty is here with us to help guide us through this emotional experience. Her presence brings much gravity to the situation. And a lot of backstory, since apparently I knew nothing about Jackie <laughs> before. Like, I feel like we're just learning everything about him right now. But I imagine that's what happens when people die. Okay, I thought that I took... Okay, I thought that I turned off ray tracing, and I don't know what this, like, flashing light is that keeps happening. Okay. Taking this. Yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Holy shit, that's so bright. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. It seemed like a good option. Oh, I could jack in. Uh, shall we look at the gorgeous ride looking for a new owner? Jackie, my man, you won't believe your luck. A collector's selling a butte in prime condition. Uh, price is good if a little over your budget. Let me know if you're interested. Because if you aren't, it'll go to someone else. Peace, Sid. And this one's from Victor. This Saturday, the boys are competing for the World Heavyweight Championship. Civets versus Blanco. Beers are already cool cooling in the fridge. Don't forget about our deal. Blanco wins by KO in the third round. You better have the Eddies. Not letting you off the hook this time. Oh, man. So <laughs> maybe, maybe Jackie owes Victor money, too. Okay, this final one here, T-Bug, I vouched for you and V. He heard about you, remembered all too well even. He'll want to meet with V, but I think it'll just be a formality. See you at the afterlife. Holy shit. I don't know if they just planned it this way so that the afterlife would be a... I don't know, a parallel between what's actually going on in the game. Should I try and jack into this as well? No, I can't. I guess we could come back some other time, maybe? Jackie's belt? Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Whoa. That is... Really messed up. Do I have to take that? I feel like that's a gross memory. I don't really like that one. Maybe I'll just take the barbell instead. Uh... Anything else? A book? For whom the bell tolls. Ernest Hemingway. What the Jack heck? read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... <laughs> I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the ofrenda, though. Okay, I guess we could take that one, too. Jack. Pure and simple. Um. Oh, his posters. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? <laughs> he said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's just inspiration for working out or something. Barbels. Uh, Love to box. poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. Should I just... Maybe I should... Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Oh, he said it so many times that she knows, or... Uh, that's all right, I suppose. <laughs> Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Oh, they're just really old posters? And... Anything that I missed in here? We have the fish tank. We have... Nothing else. 
that I'm seeing. I think that we got everything. So breach protocol. Nice still. Oh, Misty's photo. I missed that. Wow, she looks so serious. Gotta be Jackie's dad. Oh. Old school ganger. Valentino's. Oh. Of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Did I get it? Did I miss anything else? Wells family photo. Oh, a basketball. I didn't. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Wow. Poor Jackie. Uh, I would be happy to take this. This'll be fitting. I guess I'm not sure if it will be fitting, but... Uh, let's see, what have we picked up so far? The book, the tequila, the ball. Anything else? Apparently we can't take those. Can't take this. We've looked at that, looked at that, looked at that. Okay, I think I'll leave now. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't oh, want me there anyway. I have this paranoia that she's gonna get murdered in here. I don't understand what's going on. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What did she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. Is Camila gonna be there? I feel like she should come with. If she wants to be there, I don't understand what the issue with her coming with would be. I would advise her to come with. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? Yes, we shall. Oh, uh... You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane? To Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. <laughs> I can't match pace with her at all. I'm gonna have to come back here for that uh, thing on the wall. Um, Dodgers, you, you say, the issue is Mama Wells just being protective of Jackie. And felt the other chick was better for My Jackie. Deepest. Yeah, it just seems like she's worried. I hope that she's not then mean. I hope that Mama Wells isn't mean to Misty. Glasses. I hope it wasn't a mistake. P, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. All right. Hey, V. Hey, Victor. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me 
he said. No te preocupes, mamá. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can Whoa. still almost feel it. Victor and Jackie have gone toe-to-toe. -to -toe. <laughs> Jackie beating up on an old man. Twelve rounds, buddy. Anyone else? Uh, stand and say nothing or stand and talk about the first time we met? I don't really want to say anything because now I feel like I don't know him at all. Let's, let's speak. I, uh, I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It feels like... It happened a century ago, at another time, in another place. Jackie saved my life. And then years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found mm -hmm. my own freedom then, but it would not have happened. Without him, Jackie Wells, an honorable man. He placed principles first and stuck hard to them. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. Oh gosh, I wish he, I hadn't said that. He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He never forgot where he came from. He put his loved ones first. Always knew what he wanted. Um, let's say he never forgot where he came from. He kept Haywood in his heart, always. It made him who he was. But most importantly... He did not fear life? Oh my goodness. Jackie loved life and had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he he didn't overthink things, he just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. Oh shit. And that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. <laughs> if he's watching. Bet just about now he's flipping them all the bird. Wow. What a rough way to describe someone. Not how I would describe Jackie at a funeral. I would be much more demure. But I hope that that pleased Mama Wells in this crowd here. Let's place our item. It seems like the last thing we have left to do. Uh, oh my god! A Haywood kid with ambition. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Tequila, he always wanted more out of life. Or recite a passage from the book. A Haywood kid with a hell of a drive. Rest easy, Tomb. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, B. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. 
she was very import important to him, or let it go, Mama Wells? I don't know what to say. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. Uh... I can't accept it or take keys. <laughs> you sure? Jackie'd kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. Oh, so boy. don't get any scratches on it. I'm gonna get a little more than a scratch on it. What's wrong? Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuidate, be. Wise words, Mama Wells. Oh, Mac, you say I never knew you could t take more than one item. Yeah, I think the only thing I left behind was the belt intentionally. Um, should I talk to these? Ah. Hey. You all right? Yeah. I think I'm just still in that garage mentally. I just need a sec. Okay. Well, just so you know, you're invited to dinner. Mama Wells says so. Um, I just wanted to see if I could talk to Look more of the people. The Campos all torn up. Says oh. he feels like he lost one of his own. Let's Not say today. gonna miss him. I already do. <laughs> Me too, chica. <sighs> Me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. I don't know if I want to drink more. <laughs> I'll see you, Vic. Sure. Hang in there, kid. Pour you another? Hey, you! Huh? Oh, a drink my God. Skin, you know. To Wells? Uh, how'd you meet Jackie? How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. Yeah, I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. Think we might know each other. We do? Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Oh, Thank shit. you. Should I drink? I'm good. Optional talk to the Valentinos. Okay, we did that. And talk to Padre here. Hello? Is it is it you, sir? Oh, hey Padre. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre. I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. Okay, did you know Jackie well? Jackie. Did you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it? I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but <laughs> I'm pretty certain Jackie did. I feel like Jackie would sweet talk his way. <laughs> I don't know, can you pull a fast one on the Lord? Not sure. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Okay, talk to Padre, optional. And we'll go back downstairs to talk to the Valentinos again, because I guess we do maybe have to drink to check it off. Uh, check off our... that we interacted with them. Fine, I'll drink your dang tequila. Now, where were we? If I get poisoned by this and I end up in someone's trunk, I'm going to be so pissed because I have two more people to talk to. All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. Mm, 
I had enough for one day. Good for now. Thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Nah, give me a break. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, see you, man. Maybe we'll be friendly later. Need you to focus now, okay? Me? Weird, being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Oh, I can stand and drink more. Pour. For Jackie. Amen, sister. <sighs> uh, let's stand. Am I drunk yet? Okay, nope. We can leave the bar now. Okay, so we'll leave and job completed. I think I wanted to go pick up Jackie's motorcycle though. That's what we need. Let's go down to street level here and we'll press V. Here, Jackie's Ark. Just had to look at my inventory. I, I did assume that we would have to go back to the garage to get it. Let's hop on our bike here. Now we can meet with... Uh, let me check his name. Takamura. Eh. Also, it's very disturbing that there are children that just walk around the streets of Night City. In other video games so far, children are very rare. It's not common to encounter children in the street. And it is kind of disturbing in such a messed up city. All right, Takamura. Can we please stop talking about work? Entering new location, You Tom do not Steiner. look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Yeah. <laughs> Same, actually. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. And what do you want? What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Hmm. Evelyn, what's she to you? Oh, I was gonna say, she never heard of her. She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. I don't know about that. Would she? She's answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Mm. I have no idea why I think that. Got no Be clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma, to be sure, but... She showed that slyness you get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out lumped with the outcasts easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> I feel like he's getting grumpy. Uh, okay, got, There's no time got a to life to save me. my own, so be seeing ya. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. Be, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice in Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is oh, I proof. Like that idea. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? 
I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. Okay, what if I say no? What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. Ah, excellent. This is wonderful. Usually people threaten me when I say that, but... Okay. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Really? They can save me? Okay... Okay, both the of these sa things sound like absolute bullshit. I'm sorry, they just do. Like, the first one that we're going to somehow procure a, a, a jury of some kind and uh, Mr. Yori Nobu. That he's not going to pull the padge on us and, and totally rig it. And then the other thing that Arasaka can somehow cure us. I seriously doubt that as well. Well, I guess we're screwed either way. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear. Ah, uh, it's hot. People interested in the corporation's mm. stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... What are we watching? Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? Hey! You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Don't murder Tom. <sighs> Last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Whoa. This is this feels weird to be on the side of the table shaming Takamura over here. Okay. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Ooh. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. Okay. Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. 
It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. Ah. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Uh, she spot the corpo in you. <laughs> no experience talking to people like that? She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's oh. well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Yorinobu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Gosh, everything that he says is so sinister. It could just be that. Ah, oh no! <laughs> Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Uh, are we friends now? You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? Am I yelling at nobody You know right you now? don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Whoa. With his memories? Oh, snap. Okay, this is getting good. Let's just say that we don't trust him. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. Okay, well, then help me, please. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's balls. <laughs> Don't need convincing. <laughs> Seen your memories. Gross. That's a brand new Rubble sentence for me. Rogue any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. All right. There's no us. Johnny, you got that? There is no us. All right, we could call Judy. Let's do that. Judy Alvarez. Oh, her Me? symbol is so cute. That you? That's Shit. right. I thought you were gone. You remember me? Uh, I want to talk to Evelyn. Or let's say so did I. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's heard. Listen, need to find Evelyn. 
I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What'd I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Okay. Um, come on. You're the only lead I got. Or we could say, let's meet. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want to? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Okay, meet with Judy. Automatic love. Huh. Uh, Robert Wilson needs a favor. Want to hold a clearance sale? No junk, pre-merch only, you know me. Problem is I hardly know anyone else. But that's where you come in. Next time you're around, why don't you stop by, browse around. Won't find better deals any other place. If you could put out a good word for your chooms, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay, we could meet with Judy or Ghost Town. Want to track down Hellman? I do want to do that. I also, this is, this tune-up thing, I... I know what this job is. This Delman HQ thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this line of missions involves having to go save Delmans, different Delman vehicles. I swear to God, the only time that I ever watched Cyberpunk on stream, every streamer was always playing this mission. I couldn't escape it. I've seen it so many times. I don't know how it starts or how it ends. Everyone was just always in the middle of it, saving a bunch of fucking, a bunch of beautiful taxis. And I was like, this is cyberpunk. Uh, we could talk to Barry. Seems like the PD's taking an interest in a neighborhood of yours. Even sounded like they knew each other. Will you assume the mantle of a concerned, responsible citizen and ask what's going on? I mean, if you got a potential psycho for a neighbor, wouldn't you want to know? That's literally right next door to me. That's my next door neighbor. So I don't know if I want to do that right now. Oh, collect your reward from Wakako. Um, I would do this job really quick and then maybe do one of the next big missions. Um, just because I haven't, I don't think that I've met Wakako yet. Uh, whenever you go see Wakako and walk into that pachinko salon of hers i get this weird like tingling feeling on the back of my neck i don't know v she's all kinds of weird anyway she promised a special reward for this job with sandra dorset all we can do is go see her on jig jig street that must have been when jackie was still alive okay let's call our vehicle our bike of choice and unless i could fast travel there. Nope, I've never been there before. I have not been there before. What the? Oh, oh <laughs> I thought I was gonna drive there without me. That's dumb. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, just slow down. You don't have to drive fast. You don't... I don't even know you! <laughs> the person just yelled, I don't even know you. What does that mean? What does that even mean? Oh, uh, Ripper Dock? <gasps> oh my god, why did I just drive towards those people? I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we're very close, so maybe I'll just run the rest of the way? Huh, okay, w I'm in a new part of town. Wow, look at those! Look at that! That's so pretty! Okay, sorry, we're gonna go do this. Oh, I got athletic points for jumping over that oh it's just it's not a real tree but it's so pretty wow that's how they sell cola here what what does that say about cola <laughs> it says cola box. okay agri say mezo cannot fight the desire for vehicular manslaughter it's a burning desire that i've stifled. Uh, it came out when I decided to become a nerd, I guess, when I started playing games. There's a, a lips symbol? Oh, okay. I see. I see. Oh! I see. I see what's going on. No, thank you. I'm grieving the loss of my friend alone. 
Um, oh, back here? Aha! Who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Yeah, okay, go, go. you called me here. Long so. time no see. So what brings you here? Okay, I mean, you literally called me, but it's okay. How many husbands did you have again? Wow. Okay, well, yeah, let's say that. Can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Okay. I guess her sons are on board with whatever happened to their dads then if they're still in her life. I'm sure it was an accident. Also, this has got to be the lowest cut shirt I've ever seen on in Cyberpunk. I feel like they were this low cut in um, Mass Effect, but it's just surprising. I didn't expect that from Wakako. Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husbands knew Westbrook, yes. Each of them, very high in the tiger claws. Rude Japan town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pull, sold sex, and black market tech. Does that mean that she uh, runs this joint now? Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Ooh. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Oh. Go see a ripper doc. They'll weave you a dermo imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A tiger claw specialty. There's nothing else I can ask her about. Oh, <laughs> There's nothing else I can ask her about, so... Can I gamble here? I like how shiny her skin is. She looks like plastic. All right. Well, um, I haven't been to this. R oh, goodness. Uh, excuse me, sir. I haven't been to this Ripper dock. I think that there's one close by. Let's see. Purchase of Obeo. Pert. Maybe this one? 70 meters away. You. You asshole. Dirt eating no good bastard son of a bitch. Stop right there. Here, Katie, Katie. What's the rush? What? Who said that? What are you doing here? Oh, him! Where's your cute little ass rushing off to? Slow down. Treat yourself to a little R E L. Okay, I feel like that's not for me. Okay, I think this is it. Oh, my man. I I got out here. I want to see what you have. Collect your free reward from Colossus Riders Ripper Dock. Oh. I think she said it was in my hands. Tiger Claws Dermal Implant. Allows you to use the smart targeting module in smart weapons. Directly links the user's optical implants to the weapons system, offering real-time data tracking. Sure, we can try this one. Are you sure you want to buy and equip this implant? Yes. Okay, there. And then it just replaces it. Okay, I see how it works now. Do I have any other things that I've just been... That I may have picked up or something? I thought I had adamantium bones. No, I, I guess I have things, I just can't use anything. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, I thought it was in... Oh, that, it must have been something that I could buy. Okay. Cool, job completed. The gig. Now... What to do next? I said that I was going to... Um, oh, look! This urban, what do they call these? Urban something? That's interesting that they put this in the game. These things to prevent homeless people from existing in public spaces. Okay, actually, so we have this iguana egg in our inventory, burning a hole in my pocket. I 
think now I can go back to my apartment and maybe hatch it. I, th I think maybe I can. I'm just gonna go see what's up in my apartment. I'm sure it doesn't hurt to just go to sleep. And then, yeah, then we'll pick out a, a new mission. Hey, look. Ugh. At what? What is it, Johnny? No, oh, interesting. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that what chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Nah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe ask them both. Hmm. Oh! Oh! It's this! Is it this? Is it not this and I'm a damn fool? Okay, so it looks like we... I wonder if we have a quest associated with that side jobs. Foot on the hill, talk to Misty. Oh, find all the tarot graffiti in Night City. <gasps> One of 20, oh yeah, I love collectible things. Talk to Victor, maybe these strange images that you're seeing really do exist, or maybe the biochips already turned your brain into scrap and salmon, salmon casserole. Whatever the case, spotting these symbols is in unexpected places feels like a mystery begging to be solved. Oh my gosh, I love this. A little Nancy Drew sleuthin'. Okay, see here, now we can place the iguana egg in the bowl. Now what? Patience is a virtue. Oh. I have no idea what happens now. It looks like I just put it in a dirty ass bowl. I assumed we'd need to place it somewhere warm or something. Where's the thermostat? Could I just turn it up in here? Um, also, Victor Vector sent us some items, apparently, but I don't know how to pick them up. Oh, open stash, wait. Open stash, apparently Victor gave us something new. Clothing? But I don't know what it is that we got. So if any of you guys know what... I don't know. I haven't been able to find anything new in my apartment. Maybe I'm totally misunderstanding what it is that he gave to us. So, Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. And then we'll start the day. Um, maybe visiting... Eh. I think, I think we're going to visit Judy. Let's see. First will come the great reality check. Oh my gosh, that's right. This Bart Moss Collective. I don't know how they got my number, but it'd be great if they could get out of my life. I don't know. I'm sure that it'll lead up to something eventually. They're just mysterious messages that kind of grind my gears. I'm glad that this game didn't push, put flushing toilets in it. Seems like a lot of games do that. I'm not really sure why. If you can't use the bathroom, oh. B, I I... Can you talk? It is important. What's sure. important? Sure. I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. Okay, and. Uh... How is it going to help That's us? That's going to help guess. us how, exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at Kompiki Plaza. I have little hope that he will be convinced. But it will be a start. Mm, okay. Can we trust this guy? Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Okay, fine. Where fine. is he? Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. Okay, after I'll sunset. Very mysterious. Let me pick out what I wanted to do next. Okay, that's right. We're meeting with Judy. Oh, I thought that I thought that her butt cheeks were out. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, let's go back to the afterlife. And be toning, you say, strolling through Night City with cheeks out. I mean, who isn't? You'd just be wrong not to. All right, Lizzie's. Oh, it's closed? Hey, haven't I seen you here before? Yes. Got a good memory for faces. Okay. We're closed right now. Uh, let's say, is Judy around? Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Okay. The last time I ordered her to watch my car, so I thought maybe she was going to give me Just a don't harder let me time. Just you messing around, okay? Don't, what? I'm not going to mess around. I'm whoa, here on whoa, business. Start again. What is it you want us to do now? Make some sense oh. into him. That don't work. I don't know. Use lead. I, I don't care. I just want my room back. Your pimp threw you out, that it? Told me I was generating losses, then just said, have a nice life and slam the damn door. I think she's still downstairs, Judas so... Judas embarrassing herself again. Wonder why so even kips her around. This way? Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. Oh, okay, he knows. What the heck? Everyone knows. You done with that bad will you? Yep. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? Oh. I don't. Must I think she, right. I feel like well, she's talking about us right here. now. Last. Okay, the mocks. It's one of those stories that's either very simple or very complicated, depending on who you ask. For Janice, it was a mix of both. The mocks came to exist because it had to. We didn't have a soul in our corner. No one to make sure street justice was on our side. This reminds me of Sin City. Ever watched it? The Mox is composed, or let me read it again. We didn't have a soul in our corner, no one to make sure the street justice was on our side. So we took matters into our own hands. The Mox is comprised of people who, if any of them disappeared from the streets tomorrow, you may never even notice. I'm gonna stop reading there because we have read this before. Time I checked, we weren't running a shelter. You're so concerned but about strays. It's an intro Go to take care of your guest. Suze, this we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Oh. Okay, well, I think we can talk to her at some point. I want to talk to you. You just don't though. give up, do you? Got I nothing more to say thought to you other. told me to come here. I made that clear. Was I wrong? Or was I just too subtle for you? Yeah, okay. I kind of need to be hit in the face. But What's up with, with subtlety? You? you know what I'm saying here? Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Um, you know why I'm here, but I'm gonna keep asking you annoying questions. What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Uh, okay. Time to cut to the chase. I'm looking for Evelyn. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Wait a second. Wasn't it kind of her heist, too? Not really, but no. Just need to know who hired her. Sounds like you two talked. Not your concern. Let's say the cool thing. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. The way that these characters move so realistically is just incredible. I love it so much. Just the way that she looks at her keyboard, looks at us, does a little gesture. I mean, her face isn't always super expressive, but I don't know, the body language kind of makes up for it sometimes. Oh, Evelyn's cigarette case? 
Mega tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Okay, is there anything else that we should pick up? Oh my god, that is horrifying. What am I watching? Oh, moon cheese. <laughs> okay, I was uh, in anticipating it was like a really sick brain dance that Judy was working on. Wait. Um, just let me know how she's doing, okay? Uh, no promises? Better if I didn't? Sure, I'll give you a call. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. Hmm. Spidey, you say that was meant to be many. Yes, yes, I, I got that, Spidey. Sorry I stumbled through it. Okay. <laughs> okay, leave Lizzie's bar. You've decided to find the chick who put on this first class shit show. Um... I'm nervous to get into something more crazy tonight. I might want to try doing something else, but I mean, we have to leave Lizzie's bar, so I guess we'll do that. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. Touche. So we're going to hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Right. I feel like we're gonna have to fight our way out of here. Like someone knows that we're here. But that's probably just the bad feeling I... What the... What the hell? Okay, Club's any... closed. Don't you oh. have somewhere to be? Oops. I just took her money right in front of her. Uh, I'm starting to think you're a real pain in the ass. Okay. Uh, heated exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. Are you saying that I'm lacking <laughs> one of those two things? You know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. Might know something more. Evelyn jumped the mock ship a long time ago. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. Okay, I believe her. Let's go. Just kidding. Um, let's say... Guessing the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses at share a cost, too. Why? Looking to invest? No, just admiring your operation. Oh. We took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by. That's all I'll say. Heard you give the working girls a helping hand. That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot? Joy girl murdered by a tiger claw? Not the first. Just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflowed with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. But that's old news. We're running a business now, not a charity. Can't help everyone in this city. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. Okay, I guess that's all we have to say to her. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Um, I don't know if I've seen any of her shit besides the one that Evelyn had us watch. Gotten virtues off street dealers that were light years crisper. Congrats. No one cares. Apart from Judy. Oh, she love your feedback. Oh, shit. I think maybe I just made an enemy of Judy. I was just trying to be mean to this person. They 
Call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? No please to meet you? Hm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. Hm. What's this? If you call me, it's to talk biz. I do not do chit chat. Be Tony, you say, ma'am? Your shirt's hanging from your nipples. Um, ma'am, excuse me. Is this for- is this for free? Oh, I have to sneeze. <gasps> oh, goodness. Alright. Uh, so you've decided to find the chick. Um, Tiger Claws, Japantown. Side jobs. Let's... Ooh, Fool on the Hill. Talk to Misty. Let's just talk to Misty. I know that this isn't an important quest, but... What the hell? Zeigdich. What does that say? Zeigdich? I don't know. How about you fuck off? That could mean something really dirty. I have no idea. Be careful, streamer. Good gosh. You wouldn't want to say anything dirty on stream. It's not like you haven't... <laughs> Uh, wait, is it which car? It was a pink one that was crashed into a dumpster. But it wasn't available. I couldn't get into it. Fool on the hill. Fast travel. Oh, the prophet is on this corner, too. Is he still there? Wait. What the heck? That's crazy. All right. Uh. Okay, I guess he's asleep. Gary the prophet. That's all. Cool. Oh yeah. Where you get those kind of tunes? Whoa. From way back. Hey, that statue. And Mac, you say he actually sleeps? Apparently. Apparently, he's tuckered out from all the yelling he does. I saw a weird image in town. Uh, I hate to interrupt you, but. Saw a weird image out on the street. Seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? Grab a scan, take a look. Tarot. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. Oh, how's that? The, uh, the what now? Major Arcanum? Tarot card, archetype, knowledge held in symbolic form, a stage in your journey through life. Take your pick. Either way, you're saying some higher powers talking to me through tarot cards? Or to Silverhand. Or both of you, seeing as you form a harmonious whole at the moment. Be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right, great. So what do I do with a sign I can't understand from a power I know nothing about. I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road. So go down it. Ooh. I love finding things. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Ah. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Okay. Oh, finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have oh, to choose v. which road to take. Such a wet then blanket. You'll understand. Don't know. Come on back Dunno. when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. Sure, V. Well, I don't get it. We're searching for answers. Why why the hell not? We we're gonna die soon, apparently. So we might as well have our come to Four-armed Jesus? At some point. One assumes. I don't know. Also, can I adopt the cat that was out here? Because I have the iguana as a pet, but I think I need more pets. Hi. Listen. Don't laugh, but... 
been seeing some weird shit around town. Like, murals or something. But no, they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No. No, images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're... symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. All right. Well, that just gives us a little bit more to think about. It is interesting how they're weaving um, religion into, like, that technology could be a potential way for s spirits, for higher powers to reach out to people. I feel like you don't hear that talked about very often. It seems a little bit sacrilegious, honestly. Uh, oh, I've never been back here. Huh, this is actually a pretty big place. Left jab boxers monthly. Kano's name is on the lips of everyone in the boxing world. The up and coming light heavyweight remains undefeated after 20 professional fights, 17 of which were won by technical knockout. Some accuse Kano of doping. Others say he has connections to the Yakuza. Oh, the Yakuza still exist in this. While training in Night City, the light heavyweight was allegedly seen receiving guests from Japan at his gym. Afterwards, they were seen being carried out of the gym unconscious. Wide scars have been visible near Kano's ribs. Okay, so they were maybe like that woman that we saved at the beginning of the game, uh, like they stole Bioware from that person. Um, been visible near Kano's ribs for the last three fights. Local Ripper docs say the scars definitely do not look like an appendix removal procedure. Will Kano become the light heavyweight champion of the world? We'll see after Malone takes his revenge on Hernandez. The end. Uh, I want to pay off my debt. I... I think we've already talked to him about these things, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave the convo there. Um and let's see, what would I want to get up to next? There's like a blue there's a blue light there. Do you guys see on my minimap? I I don't know what that is though. It looks like it's upstairs. Maybe? Oh, does it just mean elevator? No. It doesn't just mean elevator. Alley? Whoops. I don't want to shoot. Okay. I don't know what that is. Um... Ow. Uh, the blue icon is more tarot graffiti. Oh, wow, they just tell you that it exists? That's incredible. I thought for sure that it would be unmarked. Oh, here, now it works, the roof. Let's go up to the roof. And, Adam, you say this is such a dense map. Unmarked would be a nightmare. It truly would, I mean, that's, I feel like that's how a lot of games approach collectible stuff. It's just unmarked and you have to follow a guide. Like there's no other way. There were so many things in Red Dead where I'm not exactly sure how you would ever know how to, like you could, like, yeah, you could explore the map and click Eagle Eye every, I don't know, 20 seconds or something just on your rides. And potentially you could find all of the Rock carvings, unique bodies, dream catchers, dinosaur bones. It would just take so long. At least on the mini map, it's like, okay, it's there. If you're close enough. I don't mean to make it sound impossible, but. Huh. The world. Tap Z to go to collection. Oh, 
Ooh, uh, the fool. Oh, there's a dog. Uh, the magician. And the world. Wow, incredible. Let's look at what I need to do next. I think we'll just find the tarot cards naturally throughout the land or as we play through the game. I don't know that I need to keep this toggled. Keep busy while you wait for the car to be repaired. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Regina Jones. What a sick name. Oh my gosh. Okay, go to the afterlife. Want to track down Hellman? Start at the afterlife. This is Rogue. Oh my gosh, we're going to be Rogue. Okay, this is something I actually really want to do. Thanks for watching. If you had fun and want to see me again, consider subscribing or joining one of my other social medias like Twitch, Discord, or Twitter. Until next time, Choom.